For more insight on the Chinese and American space programs, I'm joined by James W. Rice, independent space consultant and former NASA scientist. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Can you describe the different paths that the U.S. and China are taking in their respective space programs? Um, well, for the U.S. space program right now, in terms of manned space flight or human space flight, um, we're basically hitching rides with the Russians to get to the space station because, you know, we, ret we retired the space shuttle about two years ago and we're waiting for the next uh, vehicles to come along, commercial or maybe um, the NASA spacecraft to get us our ast American astronauts back launched from American soil. But in the meantime, we're launching the American astronauts over out of uh, Kazakhstan in the uh, former Soviet Union. Uh, the Chinese uh, space program is, it's been, is actually they're coming up, up on their 10th anniversary of their first uh, astronaut flying uh, in October. And um, the launch today was their fifth uh, flight with crew members on board. And they've done a lot of things. It's hard to, it's kind of hard to compare because there's a different it's not a race like we were at with the Soviet Union in the 1960s. But both have different goals. Uh, different goals because we were in the 60s racing the, the Soviet Union to the moon. And uh, there's no race like that right now. The Chinese right now are um, systematically uh, flying their missions. And they're doing a lot of things that the U.S. and former Soviet Union did. It's a different pace though because there's no race. The, Ch the Chinese right now, um, this mission that was just launched with three crew members, um, is going to do something called rendezvous and docking with uh, their space station prototype module up there. And uh, that's something you have to perfect, the docking of coming together two spacecraft and transferring the crews and equipment and supplies. And the Chinese are hoping to have a space station up there around 2020 is the plan right now. But do you think their pace is, is fairly quick considering the uh, age of the space program? They had the launch uh, just recently and then they had one this time last year, I mean, it's, it's right. almost like a year, a year at a time. There's something new happening. Yeah, and this, this mission here, this, um, the one they launched this morning, is kind of they're considering now that vehicle is operational. The first missions before this were kind of in the test phase, getting, the, getting all the kinks ironed out of it and perfecting different aspects. Like in, uh, in 2008, they did the first spacewalk. Um, and then... Uh, you know, like I said, last year this time, there was the first uh, woman ast crew member went up, and they, it was the first docking with that module that the crew was going to dock with on Thursday. And uh, then, um, th and they're also doing robotic missions to the moon. And this fall, I, don't, I haven't seen a firm launch date, but they're supposed to land a rover on the moon. And that will be the first soft landing on the moon in 37 years. The last time that happened was the Soviet Union did it in 1976. And uh, so there are different goals. I mean, there's no, China doesn't really have a race like the Soviets and the Americans did in the 60s. They're kind of doing things at their own pace. And their launches are a year, or sometimes two years will pass before they launch a mission. Whereas the 1960s, sometimes just a couple months would pass before another flight would happen. So it's, it's, it's a different, it's hard to compare them, right. and, but the Chinese are also leapfrogging things. They're doing things on missions that took the former Soviet Union and American program, you know, five or six years, seven years to do. They're doing in less time in terms of the actual flight time, but years pass in between, if that answers the question. It's kind of a, it's kind of a hard thing to, uh, it's a hard comparison because comparisons kind of fall apart a little bit because it's not the same, same environment as it existed in the 1960s. James Rice, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you.